Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is a game that I have been waiting for for many years. I backed it back in 2014, and it's finally out. I love this. Oh no, dogs are barking. I love this game. Uh, it's actually really good. And today we're going to wander around the forest, because this is... This game has got the most beautiful forests in any game that I've ever seen. They're so real. The vegetation is dished out in a way that is completely realistic. I feel like I've been in this forest before, you know? So we're talking realistic. Uh, if you like this kind of video, you can't expect too many from me, but you should go check out the ASMR nerd. Uh, I'm going to link to him in th uh, the description, and I'm sure he'll make videos on this as well with a better computer, so it'll look better. But uh, yeah, this this game is gorgeous. Look at this, and this is on low to medium settings because I have uh, a terrible computer. It's just so relaxing and so so real. You know, you have these, these natural paths through the forest. I'm sure you guys have been in forests before. And no game has really managed to capture what a forest feels like to be in before this game. This game is the first that I'm aware of that really has gotten it right. There's just enough vegetation. The paths feel natural. They're just kind of clearings. Natural clearings where people have walked so plants can't grow that much. It's awesome. It is a fantastically beautiful game. crawl around so his footsteps aren't so loud. Oh man. This reminds me a lot of the forests that uh, we get around where I live. I live in Norway, for those of you who don't know. And this game I think is set in Hungary. Um, and I can't remember but I, it might be based on like real medieval Hungarian history. Um, and long story short, this kind of forest is, uh, yeah, it's exactly what I'm, I'm used to. And I guess we have similar forests uh, in Norway as they do to, uh, as they do in Hungary, because uh, it looks very similar. I hope you don't mind the arm on the screen. That is just a visual indicator by the game to say that you're not crouching. Instead of saying that you are crouched, like in Skyrim, you have that icon on the screen that becomes like an eye. Uh, in this game, they have the arm. Visual indicator, and I prefer this. It's more integrated. Good game design. Speaking of game design, this game does have some very questionable decisions. Um, you can't save the game unless you drink a potion that is relatively expensive. So, saving is very limited, and you kind of have to either play for long periods of time and get to autosave points, which happen when you do something, you know, big. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you play 20 minutes at a time or just want to explore the world and find stuff? You've got to use one of these potions to save. And that's a little bit strange. I think there is a mod on the workshop that bypasses this, but still it is a rather strange decision you can just imagine what this would look like if the uh, if my system was better if any of you want to buy me a graphics card <laughs> a better one it doesn't need that to be that much better an rx 570 or an rx 580 will do I'd be, first of all, super grateful, but second of all, able to record much higher quality. It would be like 1080 and much higher settings. You could probably put it on high settings. I had to cut. 
I coughed and did something that didn't really fit the video. Picking up plants puts you into third person, apparently. I hadn't done that before. So, that was interesting. The music is also really good in this game. The sound effects in general are pretty good, uh, but the sound engine is a little bit um, hit and miss. So when you think that a sound should be a little muffled because you're inside or outside, it, it doesn't quite work. Uh, and you can go just inside a door and the sound completely muffles and you're just outside and it's completely clear. <laughs> so they've uh, made very hard uh, changes, basically, depending on if you're inside or outside. The voice acting is also a little bit strange in terms of how it sounds in general. Sometimes it'll be very, very like it'll sound like they're right next to you even though they're quite far away so that's a little strange uh, so the sound I think needs some work but other than the sound uh, I think this game is pretty well handled the game mechanics take some getting used to they're quite complicated versus uh, a game like Skyrim but they're not unmanageable to see all these flowers and recognize what kind of plants they are. Was that a cow? I think that was a cow. Oh, this is such a cool experience. I wish though that they had applied physics to the plants so that when I pushed into them uh, <laughs> the, the tree would also move. Maybe they do have that because I've got this earth, the physics on the lowest setting because my computer's terrible and I've tried to make this look as good as possible while still being able to record without it completely giving up the ghost. And look at this, we have another path. This is pretty much just a man-made path uh, by walking. You know, there's no rocks or stone or anything. If you've ever walked on a path in real life, this is what they're like. And I know I'm saying shit that is like obvious, but no game has done this this well before. Where everything just looks exactly right. Oh, it's awesome. We're starting also to see the sun go down. It's getting darker and darker. So I might take a little trip up to the top of the hill, see what we find there. Because the forest is starting to get a little too dark. I don't want to get eaten by monsters. <laughs> there are no mo well, there might be, but... I don't think there are any monsters in this game, considering they've tried to make it uh, historically accurate. Look at that. That could just be a screenshot for like a Windows XP, well, if you turn up the settings anyway. This is what the real world looks like. I'm so excited. If you have a computer can, that can run it, I'd recommend this game highly. Because it does really hit the spot if you are into medieval games that aren't too high on their own farts. Uh, you know, just straight up historical fantasy. Oh, nice. These dogs, man. Look at the flower beds. 
got poppies and I don't know what these white ones are. Of course, they look a little strange now because I got the you know, settings pretty low. I imagine these would look very, very nice with higher settings. Yeah. Nice. It's just so pleasant. You can imagine building a little cabin out in here, uh, out in this field. Maybe not quite here. You don't want to ruin the flowers. Scary sounds. Oh, I can't leave the domain without Sir Radzik's permission. Okay then, I guess I won't leave the domain without Radzik's permission. Sorry, dude. It's a really nice field. And look at that. Look at that sunset. What game have you played that has this kind of sunset? That is gorgeous. Fucking beautiful. I'm gonna turn up the settings to make this look even better for the thumbnail. <laughs> nah, I'm probably not gonna do that. That'll ruin the pace of the video. <laughs> I'll have to find something though. It's getting super dark. Don't worry. I'm here with you. I won't let the beasts of the night get to you. Get to you. Or get you. Or whatever. Or anything. It's gonna be. Sorry, I'm looking to that side because I heard a sound that way. Ah, immersion. There's gonna be a few people who are like, oh yeah, I really like this. You should make more. If the audience retention is fantastic, sure. The problem is, generally speaking, people don't watch these videos very much. And if this video has a thousand views, right now, a hundred. Maybe even 50 people are watching. People don't watch these videos, unfortunately. Uh, or at least not when I do them. So if you are interested in more content like this, like I said earlier, I recommend going to the ASMR Nerds channel. I think I said that earlier. It might have been a different take. I think I said it in all the takes, though. <laughs> if it didn't, well, that's where you should go. And the link will be in the description. We're just following the path. It is very dark though. And you can hear the crickets. You can see the sky getting darker and the stars coming out. And the moon. Scary. It is like properly dark too. This is how dark it gets in real life. You know? No pussy ass Max Gamma here. Yo ASMR nerd, if you're watching, and you're watching to this point, uh, you should probably put the gamma a little bit higher than you think you'll need, because the game gets dark. As you can see, it gets ridiculously dark. Okay. I can barely 
really see anything at all. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is probably call it here because you can't see very much anyway. And if you enjoyed this, awesome. Uh, I'm glad you watched this far. And I'd highly recommend going to the description to click a link to ASMR Nerd's channel and just watch some of his Wandering in Skyrim series or something. Anything at all. See ya. Bye-bye.